Hey everybody, welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. It's the Tuesday evening edition here on the 18th day of January 2022. Things are calming down now that we are about 36 hours removed from our major winter storm that brought us uh, sizable accumulations, uh, to say the least. It was our biggest winter storm in our area in over 10 years. In the meantime, we are at the bottom of the uh, temperature curve, climatologically speaking. Uh, now that we're into mid-January, we passed the halfway point of meteorological winter a few days ago on the 15th, and our average high right now is 34. It's 34 for a, at least a couple of weeks. By the very end of the month, it ticks back up. We start heading in the right direction finally. At the end of January, our average high goes up to 35 degrees, and uh, average lows, of course, start rising very slowly as well. So we're getting there. Uh, we will get out of the bottom here in about uh, 10 days or so. And so far this winter, at kind of halftime, uh, we've had a pretty mild winter overall. Now, January has been a lot different than December, but December was pretty mild. So we're still running about three and a half degrees warmer than average for overnight lows, about four and a half degrees warmer than average for daytime highs. But by the end of January, these numbers are going to have changed some because the coldest stretch of weather uh, for the winter season is heading our way. It looks like from the end of this week through next week. As I've been talking about, once we drop below freezing Wednesday night, we're probably not going to see the freezing mark again for at least a week, if not 10 days or so. Here's where we stand as far as snowfall for the uh, season so far. Last year through today's date, 35.7 is where we stood. These numbers, of course, are valid at the Youngstown Warren Airport. 25 inches is what we have so far this winter, and almost half of that occurred in our snowstorm a couple of days ago. We were sitting at about 11 and a half inches prior to that storm, and now we're up to 25. And 25 inches is still below the average, but we've cut into the deficit quite a bit. Now we're running about six and a half inches shy of average. Akron's even a little above average now, thanks to the big time snows they had a couple of days ago. Erie, PA, the deficit was close to 40 inches before the storm uh, a couple of days ago. Now it's 28 inches, and Cleveland is still about 11 inches and change below the average for the season through today's date. All right, nice sunset this evening with a veil of high clouds overhead. The sun actually broke out a little sooner than I thought it would this afternoon. Nice sunset uh, with the uh, high clouds filtering in. The high clouds will stick around for this evening. Then clouds will thicken lower some later on tonight. All right, today a nice end of the day. We Picked up about a minute and 40 seconds, I believe, uh, worth of daylight today. We're up to 9 hours, 38 minutes worth of daylight. And, yeah, we've gained, uh, let's see, quick math. We've gained, what, 25 minutes of daylight since bottoming out on uh, the solstice on December 21st. So, again, steps in the right direction. By the 1st of February, we're up over 10 hours worth of daylight. So even though climatologically speaking, our temperatures are bottoming out, of course, we've already hit our bottom as far as uh, overall daylight. Temperatures uh, at this hour, uh, as I record this, a little before 7, are in the middle 20s. They'll maybe drop a degree or two this evening, then start rising later on tonight. That's because, yeah, we have a warm front heading our way. And look at the big temperature change uh, compared to 24 hours ago out across the Midwest. But hot on the heels of that temperature change, a bigger temperature change out across the uh, Plain states and especially into the Rockies, check out Billings, Montana, 36 degrees colder than the same time last night. And that's the Arctic air mass that's coming our way tomorrow night and heading into Thursday and Friday. I want to talk about the uh, temperature change coming our way because uh, this could be, you know, something to really watch out for tomorrow night. We're going to see temperatures tomorrow get up to about 40. Our snowpack, which is deep, is full of water, and some of that snow is going to compact and melt. We'll have some water sitting around on uh, area roadways, on sidewalks and parking lots and all of that uh, by the end of the day tomorrow. But then this strong cold front rolls through and temperatures will fall very quickly tomorrow night. Already by midnight we'll be in the 20s and we'll make our way down into the lower and middle teens by the end of the night. So a flash freeze and black ice will be a concern for us I think tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Just enough melting and a fast temperature drop that we're gonna have to watch out for that. As far as the weather with our cold front tomorrow, yeah, there could be a stray rain or a snow shower in the afternoon. Don't think it'll be much precipitation. And then Thursday morning, as this Arctic air blows over the lakes, there's probably gonna be a pretty decent lake effect band that tries to set up with origins over Lake Huron, picking up some moisture over Lake Erie, and this will deposit some snow somewhere across Northeast Ohio Thursday morning. It's impossible to say exactly where, but 
there's a chance somewhere in our viewing area we're impacted by that band of lake effect snow Thursday morning. Right now, I would say the best chance would be between, uh, I'll say, Youngstown and and parts of the east side of Cleveland. Say if you're taking the turnpike up towards Cleveland Thursday morning, that's kind of the zone we'll watch out for. This might be not much of a problem northeast of Youngstown up into Mercer County, up into northwest PA as well. But that's subject to change. In the meantime, high pressure builds in then for Thursday night into Friday morning. The sky clears out and temperatures will drop like a rock pretty close to zero by Friday morning and probably below zero Friday night into Saturday morning. I mentioned uh, the coldest stretch of the winter season is coming up. High is in the upper teens Thursday and Friday. No better than the 20s over the weekend and early next week. We might have one more day next week where we don't get out of the teens. And uh, yeah, again, we might not see freezing again until the very end of next week or perhaps the very end of January. So yeah, some deep blue colors east of the Mississippi in the longer range. Still think that February is probably going to start a little bit on the cold side, but I, I like the model trends that we've seen in recent uh, weeks for kind of the middle and latter portions of February, and that would kind of fit our winter forecast expectations. It would be fairly typical of a uh, La Nina winter. More often than not, La Nina winters kind of come to an end in February with fairly benign uh, weather temperature wise. It's not always the case, but more often than not, it is the case. So that would uh, not be a big surprise if that happened this winter as well. All right, that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching on this Tuesday evening. I'll see you right back here, same time, same place on Wednesday.